The top five worst Roblox faces is now the most viewed video on my channel. I'm speechless. I'm gobsmacked. I'm f flabbergasted. I never really thought this video, which I just made because, sure, why not, would become the most viewed video on my channel. I mean, for the longest time, it was trolling with various gears on Roblox. Then it was the Spongebob video, which didn't really surprise me with the fact that it took off. And now this! This is a genuine surprise that this is the most viewed video on my channel. It's also, but it's also one of the most controversial videos on my channel. With 28 likes and 23 dislikes. So you know what? As a reward for, one, you deciding to even consider watching these videos from a person that's incredibly small. Two, me almost reaching 300 subscribers. And three, me nearly reaching 50,000 views. You know what you all deserve? A sequel. getting kind of sick of the room being pitch black for dramatic effect. Now first we need to establish a couple of rules for the list. So I've made six ones which I think should really go into consideration when we're doing the faces. One, the price or rarity of the face will not go into consideration for the list. It is based purely on how they look. Two, the faces have to have been on sale at any point, whether that is directly from buying it or through a bundle. Buddy face, consider yourself lucky. Three, no easy targets like the woman face, classic faces, etc, etc, etc. This is really the man face because I had to put that somewhere on the list. Four, no afro faces because if I included them, there would not be a single normal face on this list. Knights of Redcliffe face, consider yourself lucky. Five, I am going to be judging these on how they look normally, how they look with different common heads, and how flexible they are with sets, though you will get the most points on general looks. And six, if there is a very similar face to the one I'm judging, I will bundle them um, together to not cause clutter all over the list. So for example, if you see silly fun, you won't, then you won't see good intention. Anyways, enough of me rambling, and let's immediately jump into... Number 10. Whenever Roblox tend to try and do something new, it's not very rare that they completely fumble the ball. So it's clear that the fucks that are in charge of making Roblox faces thought one day, let's make a face that's actually original by making a face that has its tongue sticking out. And then everybody else says, wait, that's not an original idea, you've done that like 28 times. And then the guy in charge of everything thought, huh, I have an idea, let's put a dot in the tongue. And everybody else said, why would you do that? And then he replied, YES! <laughs> what is going on with that tongue? Firstly, why would you have an aggressive look like this all the time? Are you playing the streets or something? Two, why would you have your tongue out all the time? That just... It blows my mind. Thirdly, what's with the dart in the tongue? Do you want to pin your tongue to your chin or something? And fourthly, the tongue is skin colored, which is... <laughs> the only redeeming thing about this face is the eyes. So if you put on something like a ninja face, I feel like that would mesh a lot well with the face. But you can't deny that the tongue just really ruins the face. And this is only number 10. Tweet me a new nipple, this is gonna be one hell of a ride. Number nine. Have you ever just been playing normally and you've seen somebody trying to put on the uwu look? You know, the OH MY GOD THAT'S SO CUTE TO YOU THE YOU CAN JUST HANG ME! Okay, I'm sorry, I'll never do that again. But to be completely honest with you, the eye OOF <laughs> you face drove me to it. <laughs> one, I don't completely despise a kawaii set when it's done right, so... The perfect balance of kawaii and cute makes it work. But if you go too far up the cute scale, you get this horrid abomination. Secondly, the flesh-colored mouth. 
<laughs> Thirdly, the two teeth. I, ju I just don't like them. And fourthly, yes, I know you can hide the eyes with the shades or hide the mouth of a mask or something. The surgeon mask is getting a lot of sales recently, I'm sure. But you're still going to be wearing one or the other, and I don't like either as much, so... Sorry, it's number nine. If I saw somebody on a serve wearing this, I would probably just go full on try hard mode and go. Hey baby! Number and speaking of try hard, we have the tough guy face. No! <laughs> Similarly to the punk face, the eyes are actually quite nice, but it's the mouth that completely ruins it. What is this 3D scalene triangle? And the chin just looks tacked on without thought. It's like, oh, you gotta put a chin on the face. Do I? Yes, you do. Oh, shit. There, I Microsoft painted it on in three seconds. That doesn't qualify as a face. Yes, it does, because I made them. Once again, putting on a ninja mask kind of saves it. But whenever you reset, you're just going to see that grin like, yeah, I'm dead. Number seven. Now, this is going to surprise all of you. My number seven is the man face. I have several questions. Yeah, I can see the shot look on every single one of your faces, but here are my reasons. One, I feel like if you look at something horrific for way too long, it just kind of loses its fear factor. I mean, back then, the man face was the most horrific thing on the entire planet, but now, yeah, I've come to expect it. And two, there's actually one set that uses the man face really well, and that's from Sia GG's. And all you have to do is slob on the stylish aviators, and bam, you've got a decent face. Yeah, the man face has kind of lost a lot of its fear, but it's still kind of scary, so number seven. Number six. There are a couple of faces in Roblox that really look like they're hiding something. For example, I didn't eat it, that cookie, and the man face again. And then there are the exact opposite and want to show all of their ugly mugs like the braces! <laughs> With the previous faces, I can kind of see some reason why they exist, aside from the punk face, but let's not worry about that! But this? I just don't know why. Did- Are you seriously telling me that somebody back at the department which manages faces said, You know what the kid's like? Braces? No, that is a really bad idea. THEY LOVE BRACES! The braces don't even look that good. They're just black circles attached to a black line. And those teeth are also just solid lines as well. I get that having them as grids would maybe make them look a little worse. But Jesus, it doesn't work in this face's favor. I'm gonna piss off all of you with this one. But my number five choice is goofball. Where was I? Oh yeah, goofball sucks. Let me just explain the long list of things that I don't like about the goofball. One, I think the cross-eyed idea is okay, but why are the eyes tilted? Two, flesh-colored eyes. Ugh, three, the mouth looks like a banana. Where's my banana? It's over there. Four, they repeated the thing they did with the chin on tough guy with the goofball. And five, we don't have a flesh-colored mouth, but we have flesh-colored teeth! And I get it. This is supposed to be the flamingo face, the Cletus face, the meme face, but... Just because you're a mean face doesn't make you good. Number four. All of the faces so far at least look like they're in a good shape, except for the goofball. But what can I say about zombie? <laughs> oh my country song about orange squash. This is god awful. In fact, this is so bad that I can't really think of any clever jokes to break it down. But I did have one thing in mind. This is meant to be a zombie face. If you really want a zombie face, there you go. The angry zombie face. It does everything way better. It looks more aggressive and more harmful instead of a withered husk getting kicked in its floppy. Honorable mentions. <laughs> Now 
I said I wouldn't pick any easy targets, but this is easily the worst of all the easy targets, so this is the one I have to include. <laughs> there is nothing that science can't explain, but this seems to be beyond our boundary. Firstly, the eyes are too far away from each other to make it just look really uncanny. Secondly, why do the eyes have so much shine on them? We can tell that you're looking somewhere, you don't need to emphasize that. Three, what is going on with that mouth? I'm kind of glad that it doesn't have gritty teeth, but it still looks awful. Four, why do you need to put the shading on like that? We know that it's a pair of teeth, we don't need it to be like, look everybody, this is a shiny pair of teeth. And five, I know that I said I wouldn't mention how common they are, but I feel like I need to pull a meme from Reddit just to show you how common this is. <sighs> this face is so bad I had to break the rules. Number two. This next one, I'm gonna have to be doing the dirty deed of going back in time. <laughs> I get that having them as grids would maybe make them look a little worse. Foreshadowing. But shh. Yeah, let's head back to the future. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Go back to when the teeth was just a single line because this is just disgraceful. One, why are their eyebrows all the way up there? What is their purpose? Two, why are there like war eye marks? I never understand the name. Three, why is there a tooth missing? I get that the name of the face is Toothless. But it just looks like a void of empty despair. And four, I just realized that the shape of the mouth is a boat. Yeah, let's just head to number one before I throw up. Number one. You don't want this. You think you want this right now, but trust me, you don't want this. Because this is easily the worst face I've ever seen. Ever. N not even the Kinder Egg is this scary. Like, I can think of a lot of terrifying faces, but this one... This one just tramples over them all. To give you an idea of how little people care for this, the lowest all the other faces would go is maybe 4,000 sales. This one, just over 1,000. I'm not even joking. So, if you really want to be scarred for the rest of your life, watch on if you dare. Because number one is the super crazy face. I gave you all a chance to run! I'm so sorry! Let's break down what's wrong with this face. Grid teeth? Check. Inconsistent grid teeth? Check. The chin thing that they have done three times at this point? Check. Flesh colored eyes? Check. Flesh colored teeth? Check. Lines so thin that sometimes they don't even exist? Check. There is so much wrong with this face that I'm gonna make any excuse to stop looking at it. Uh, I need to go to the store to buy some ass. Oh, wait a minute! The entire world is in love! Because this face scares him into it! Okay, that's enough. I am off PNGs forever. But before I say goodbye to everybody, can I just say how happy I am that you're all just staying here and genuinely watching my content? Because I know it's a really small group and a very tiny audience, but a small audience is still an audience. People who still watch my videos, people who have clicked on my stuff 50,000 times at this point. And I just want to say thank you. Without you, I wouldn't be screaming at drug infested PNGs. You mean the world to me. But before I go, I want you all to say your thoughts on the list and your own list in the description below. Hell, I might even favorite the ones I like. But with that said, thanks for watching, everybody. And if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. When? Wait, when did I last do this? For.